Hi, and welcome to another continuum video of how to restore Edo Group bookcaps. So, what we've done is we've brought them back to a good, good standard, but me being me, and anybody who knows Aaron knows that I'm a bit of a Volkswagen nut. So, what I do like to do with my cars is give them just a little bit of an extra custom touch. I feel if we could go in here and contrast this VW sign, I feel that we could get this uh, hook cap to pop again and really come to life. So what I've gone ahead and done was I've got myself a simple arts and crafts brush. It's really simple. Wet them down with a little bit of saliva so that the, uh, the fibers bind back together, the bristles, and you have a little bit more of a point to the end of it. Or you can be not like me and go out and buy a really good brush and you won't have to deal with this. I've gone and picked a gum metal gray color here because I think we don't want it to jump out at you as it's going down the road, but when you do pull up, you want the average guy to walk past and go, hmm, there's something about those hook caps. Draws the eye to them, but it doesn't pull too much of the eye away from the rest of the car. So I'm going to show you how to do just a quick, 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 quick customize. I'm gonna just give this paint a little bit of a mix up. I should have done that before we started rolling, but unfortunately I didn't. These are the joys of doing these videos. So what we'll do is keep that a clean really quickly. So we'll start and oh, it's a very simple, this one, this customization video is very, very simple. We're just gonna simply fill in the blank. So it's like being a kid again. We're gonna go back and we're going to just simply trace the lines around. This may need two coats. You'll have to excuse my shaky hands. I'm in a cold studio, so do bear with me. And we'll continue to paint this around. And if anybody wants to comment on what I'm doing, or if they feel like I'm ruining a set of VW hook caps, I'm sorry, you're wrong. This is my opinion. And I personally think that the little bits on some of these custom parts uh, can really make the vehicle pop. Once again, we're not looking to make it explode off the hook cap, but we are certainly looking to draw the eye to the VW sign. So if I can keep my shaky hand from going all over the shop, she'll be able to yield some nice results here. So don't be afraid to put it on tick. And remember, this is water-based paint. So if needs be, we can just clean this off if we're not happy with it. And if we are happy with it, and we do like the outcome, well, quite simply, then we'll just get a clear coat, go over the top to protect that for when we put it back onto the road so that the paint won't chip off with the weather. Now, I've done this before and I've taken my time. I've taken hours of hours of delicate work. This one, I'm just flying through because I just want to give you an idea of how you can do this really quickly and uh, essentially give that customized look like you've brought it to a custom garage or had some custom work done for basically a couple of pounds, euros or dollars. I'm a firm believer in throwing nothing away, that everything can be restored, me living a new lease of life. And certainly the stuff that is restored and brought back has more appeal than new stuff for me. The plastics and the modern day ways of manufacturing such materials are just, we're gonna let that dry off. What I've done there is I've just brought the sign just a little bit up off the surface. It's still drying, it would need a second coat. Now, if you think I should have went with a darker color, let me know. You could have used any color in there, but once again, I want the eye to come across it. I don't want to draw the eye to it, but I want the eye to recognize, yeah, there's something different there, but it's not pulling all the attention off the car. So, there you have it. Quick, quick, quick version, guys. I could have spent hours doing a video here, needling and getting it all right and clear coating it afterwards, but I didn't. I just want to give you just a quick run through of how you can customize your VW Camper hookups. So, there it is drop a comment below. I also want you to subscribe to the channel so we can do more of these videos. And then also, I want you to go back and have a look at the other video if you haven't seen how we restored these and got this to the point so that you can get to here. So I think we get really good results out of it. I think it looks really good. I will do more of these if you just keep watching. So till then, this is Aaron from Cleaning How To and we'll see you next time.